We are less than 24 hours away until Axiom Space launches its first all-private mission to the International Space Station. The company is teaming up with SpaceX to make it happen. That launch is scheduled for 11:17 tomorrow morning. SpaceX says weather is looking good, at least for now. New 6 is James Barvero live at Kennedy Space Center for us tonight. So James, Axiom just gave an update within the past 90 minutes. And the mission leaders, Matt, are saying the Falcon 9 rocket, the Crew Dragon capsule, and the crew, they are all ready for this historic flight. The space station team is really excited for this first of its kind mission. SpaceX and Axiom Space reporting all systems are go for the first private crew rocketing to the International Space Station. Doing something that's never been done before in exactly this way. It's very rewarding and thrilling to be a day away. While storms move across Kennedy Space Center Thursday, on Friday the weather squadron says conditions look a lot better for Falcon 9 and Dragon to fly Michael Lopez Alegria, Larry Connor, Mark Pathy and Eton Stibbe. I've been trying to give them as many words of wisdom. Dr. Peggy Whitson has spent more time in space than any American and she plans to return to the space station on the second Axiom mission following the work of the first crew now making final preparations. Today they're probably taking a bit of a break. They did their dress rehearsal yesterday, so that's probably a very exciting day it would be for me. <laughs> going through the whole procedure, suiting up, getting in your spacesuit and going out to the spacecraft is always a thrill. They've done a ton of training um, specific to the space station. They've worked hard to understand how they can be contributing members of a national laboratory, and that's pretty darn cool. And if the crew does not launch tomorrow, SpaceX and Axiom Space say they've selected backup launch windows on Saturday and Sunday. Live at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results News 6. James, thank you. We'll have team coverage tomorrow covering every angle leading up to launch time. That launch again is at 1117 tomorrow morning. You'll also be able to see the launch from multiple angles from the homepage of ClickOrlando.com. From Jetty Park to Spaceview Park, you will find it all right there tomorrow.